Okay, good. So go ahead and go to. Uh, well, I'll, I'll go ahead and, go ahead and do this. You got, you got the controls. I'm gonna okay. Go so the first thing I'm going to do is scroll up, and I'm going to go to websites. And do a new website. Okay. But and then you want to put okay. it on this one here. Yeah. Continue. And we're going to do a uh, temporary domain. And continue. Bill sixty-eight. And then we're going to do uh, install Ooh, and I'm going to do WordPress and go ahead and put in what you want for your login. Okay. Okay. Finish. So so yeah, now while it's doing that thing, I'm going to go ahead and send you, the, and um, let me go back to the site. It's going to be on go to uh, site tools. And what I want to do is make sure that WordPress is properly installed, and then, then we can move forward. So we're going to go to site. You just open it up. WordPress, install and manage. And uh, there it is. So we're going to go log into the admin uh, panel to make sure WordPress is running right. OK. And then um, now That's is what gonna... you just did. You didn't say start. you went to the little blue below. Yeah. Yep. You can throw away like the site. Ground well, that's why that. you can have you could have unchecked it when you made the WordPress to not have it do that. But mm, that's right. Okay. Oops, wrong one. Upload. But you put them in when you did it. On the one, one of them, yeah, I messed up. Okay, so go ahead and drag that file in here. That uploading it, yeah. Hold upload second. Updraft Plus. Yeah, it's in my. I had an Updraft Plus, and so. Okay. I mean, you know. Okay, so now activate Actually, plugin. Yeah. Then what we'll do is we're going to go ahead straight and click on settings. Okay. We're going to go right to. Where is it here? Migrate. Migrate and clone. And then receive a backup from a remote site. Okay. And then what we're going to do is we're going to, what was, what was the name of your site here? Transitionforlife.com. Transition. I'll just say transition. That's good enough. So we're just creating a key here. We click OK. We go here. We highlight. Copy it. I'm going to do it this way since it doesn't work with my command C. Now, we, now we're done here waiting. So now we're going to go back to the old one. So this is why I was duplicating this. So I go duplicate this tab, okay? And then I can go grab the other other site. So let's go to um, actually no, we can go here. We can go here. Yeah, go site ground. We're going to duplicate this one. No, sorry, got the wrong one. And we can close this one because that's that was a duplicate. Someone didn't need. Okay, so now what we're going to do is we're going to go to the other, well, we could have done it from up here too, but either way, it's fine. Websites, and we're going to go to the Transition one you want. So go find that one. It's right there. Why not? Ah, okay. So we yeah. go to site, site tools. Okay. And we look at WordPress and make sure it was created in here. And it was, so we can go to the admin. Now we're going to go to plugins. I have to. Yeah, new, let's make sure you don't already have it. You don't, okay. So we're going to go back up to here, add new. Upload, and go ahead and drag your file. Just drag it right over to here. Which for oh, the transition for um, the plugin updraft updraft yeah. As far as I don't have I don't have it on here. I guess I don't. didn't. I just checked. I didn't. It was not there. Just drag it into that white space. Okay. And I saw it. No, it doesn't work. Drag it into the white space where it says no file chosen. Right don't here? drag it there. Yeah, right there. Yeah. Oh really? I didn't realize that. Yep. Now click install now. I didn't realize you can do that there. I've always just gone to the path. No, oh, you could. But, I mean, this works. It saves a little time. So I'm trying to think don't make that bigger. You make drag it. We didn't install. It's not installed. Yeah, it is. It's, it's got an X going, so you're installing. Where do you see that? Up here. 
Up where? Up here. Oh, I didn't see it. Okay. And then we activate. Okay, so now in this one here, we go to settings. Press here to start with settings. Then go to... Okay, so now the next step is we're going to migrate. do a... Oh, yeah, migrate clone we can. Okay, and then what it goes right here, send back up to another site. Okay, and, and then it. add a site. Yeah, then it sends that back up to that site. Right. Now you paste the key in. Yeah. Okay. And add site. Why'd you put a name on that key? Just so I knew I, knew I copied the right one. <laughs> I mean, so I key. Now I, I put send a new backup as opposed to, and I, I tell it to do all. Unless put WordPress core include additional. Yeah, because it's already got a WordPress core on the new site. Okay. I mean, if you if I you understand. were trying to do an old WordPress installation, yeah. then yeah, but not sending it to the old. You're sending the this this current one. You're on to, transition for life. You're sending it over to um, the temporary. A install. clean install, yeah. Yeah, I didn't realize I had this much stuff on this site. How many websites do you have now? I don't know. I haven't added up in a while. Okay, so that backup is finished, okay? And so now, and it says it was sent right here, okay? All right, it was sent. Yeah. So that means we can go back to the new site. And then we can go to restore. Okay. And then you're going to see down here, backup of transition for life. So then we say, we check the box or either way, I guess we just say restore. Right. And then I, just make sure you check all these little thingies. Including other. Yeah. yeah even though we may not add it. I just. And then next. Yeah. And then I go to the bottom and I click restore. restore. And then it goes through this little process. That's good. I don't realize I had that much stuff on this one. Probably the coolest inside. Bill, we both have ADD. That's why we have a lot of stuff. <laughs> <laughs> it's kind of like, really, I was really cleaner in this. It's pretty neat. Okay, so now, so now we go to um, this. I built new... this when I, during COVID, the first two months of COVID. Okay, so now you see, oops, I'm going to I'm gonna copy this. Hang on. Jeez. One second. You want me to copy it? No, I want to copy just this much. That's the temp site, right? Yeah. Copy. Yep. Then I'm going to go over here to a new window here. I'm going to drag Paste. that window. Drag that window down just a little bit. Oh, I could do it. Hang on, not when I'm not when I'm doing things. No, after you're done, I'm, I'm keeping my hands like this. There you go. Okay, so there you have it. So now you have a functioning website. You can check it out. You can make sure all the pages work. Yeah, okay, yeah, move, do, do whatever you want to move. Move what you want to move. I don't need to move. Oh, I just oh. want to move the box. The whole second. I couldn't, not perfect. I couldn't see it. Let me just make this a little smaller. There we go. Now, your, back your okay. Page. Okay. So, what we've done is we just tested the site now, right? Okay. okay it's on a temp site. So, we got a backup. So if you click, we actually have a backup of it on this site. Right. This is their backup. This is the yeah. complete image of it, right? Right, right, right. Okay. So, now uh, the next step is we go back to the, um, the site tools and the website and we go to the account. Mm -hmm. Since you don't have any emails, we don't have to worry about any of that stuff. No email. Yeah, I, I do have emails and some stuff. But I don't worry about it. We'll just start over. And there. you're looking for this, the, what is it called? Transition, Transition for, life. for Life. Yeah. We go that's over the, here. That's the real, wait a second, which site's that? That's the site we had. Okay. So now we're going to put old transition. This is bizarre here. Old, so you're actually changing the name of the domain. Yeah. Yeah. It works. And then that, I got to see this. And then you throw it away. Oops, life. I'm going to spell life here. I it live. Okay. 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 So then I go down here and I confirm it. Wow. So you can go back and change it back to the other way. And come you up. can. If it, something fails, you can always go back. Yeah. Go back. So it's like that's you're why, putting, a, putting an X in front of it. Yeah. That's why I don't delete anything until I know everything's right. But I, no, I see a point now. There's your. Um, Domain now domain. here's here's the thing that's gonna that gets in the way of things. You see, this has already got the name server pointed. I right? think I did it. I can't it was it. already that way, right? So um, and so now if we go back, oops, we gotta go back to where did it go? Here. 
Um, go back to websites again. Okay. And then we're going to take this new one. Temp site. Yeah. And we're going to rename that guy. To... It's going to be transitionforlife.com. Do we didn't put in a, uh, a secure socket, did we? Not yet. It would already put it in there. So why'd you say the, the, the DNS? I'll tell you. It's not, we're not there yet. Is that spelled? Is that spelled right? Make sure. Yes. Okay. okay. So now we're at the stage of DNS. Okay. And so, if you were to look at the, um, what's it? What's processing? Is it going through there and changing all the names? Yeah, it's going through the database. It's going through changing. directory folders, things like that. It's just changing looking all for directories and. Things that point to the old one, it's just naming them the new one. Um, now, um, at this point, you've got to take your your DNS and point it to a new location. But since you already have it pointing to the new location, yeah. okay, that's where it gets screwy. That's why having um, because you know, your cache. Cloudflare, that's because Cloudflare is is so much more powerful. I can point the IP directly to where I want to go. So. So they're now, IPs. right, they're different IPs. So so the one thing you want to do is, and we can force this, okay? Take a long um, time. Let's look at this. Let's try something while it's doing its thing. Cache. I'm going to go to um, um, how to how to set Mac hosts file. Because this will let you instantly do it. So you find your terminal application. So you got to go terminal. Um, where is it here? Terminal. Okay. Yeah. So there's terminal. And what you do? Then, here. then you um, enter sudo. Okay. So we go. Copy this. Make it simple. Su sudo is, means super user do or whatever it is, and then it puts it into this. So I'll put that up here. Paste. Oh, that didn't work. Okay. Pseudo, nano, slash, et cetera, right. slash hosts. So what it's doing is it's opening up an editor. There's a key. Oh, you need your password probably. 2484. This is your um, yeah, right here. password for your Mac. Right. How come I didn't type it down there? There it goes. I did. I stuck it in there. Didn't do anything. It's, that's not like a last pass thing. But just type it. This is your Mac password. That's right, Twain. I put in my my Mac password. Oh, there it goes. Now it's same password. Okay. There we go. There we go. Okay. So now, um, what we can do is we can go back over to SiteGround. Okay. And that's okay. Even if it says something went wrong, what you can do is you can go back to your websites again. And now you see that it did change it, right? Right. Okay. Yeah, now, I, yeah. wait, wait a second. What did it change? It changed the name from the temp to the real. No. Okay. Yeah. Was, went, okay. It's okay. a transition for life. Okay. okay what, is it the right server? Yep. Yeah. So this here. Okay. Oops. Let me do it again. Copy, right click, copy. And okay. you drag it into now, if we were to go, if we were to go look for transition for life right now, transitionforlife.com. Right. You see, you get this weird shit, right? Because there's no uh, secure socket either. Let's check it out. So we go security. This is a migration issue. SSL. Okay. So we're going to load up. Let's encrypt. Yeah, that's why you got that. I don't know why it does that. Okay, so get, now get my mouse, it. my mouse. You got it. You got to enforce it. Okay, so now we're going to go back to here again, and we're going to try it again. So we'll put in transitionforlife.com. Yeah. Okay, 
and we still get the same thing, right? So now we're going to go and just see what happens if we do a, a incognito, right? Yeah. And see if that makes any difference. So transition for life. And you still get this, right? Mm -hmm. Okay. It, it's, it seems to be, this is what happens with sight ground. And I don't know why it does that, but it seems to do that. And it, it sometimes works, sometimes it doesn't work. Okay. Um, but maybe it just takes some time for it to do things. I don't know. If I refresh this. Yeah, I've done that where you go up incognito and it comes up. Yeah. So so that seems to be working okay. Um, and that and, and that means you don't have to do this, but what you could do, okay. And I, let's see what it says here. Um I've done a little bit of work on that. Yeah, I don't know why I can't control where it's going. Let me just see something here. No, it's always putting it at the top. Your Mac, you got to figure out. You need a better editor. Even a text editor would be fine. You could just use edit. But in any case, what you're going to do, and I'll show you how to do this. You're going to you're going to open a lineup, okay? And okay, and so you're going to you're going to paste in the the DNS, right? Okay, then you're going to say transition for life dot com. That won't screw it up. Nope. What this will do after you save this, I'm not going to save it, but after you save this, uh -huh. it will yeah, actually, right. it will actually, when you, when you go, when your computer goes and looks up tenants for life, it'll substitute that IP address and go straight to it. Right. Okay. Bypassing yeah. the whole internet, bypassing Cloudflare, bypassing everything. This is telling yeah, your computer. That's the, that's, the address right there. Yeah. that's the hard address. What's cool about this is this lets you, get past caching problems you can get past all kinds of things this way yeah so anyway i just wanted you to see how that worked i don't want to save this so we'll just um exit out here first and then we go to this this website oops website and we go and find so you gotta throw away the old one right and the way i do that is i, I make it temporary i don't make it permanent the gold, until... you don't you don't throw away yet right so what I do is I just say offline mode. Why do you do that? Okay, because what it does is it puts it up into this area where there's nobody can get to that site. And so you can verify that it's really working. Like okay. I, can go, I can go back to here, make sure that it's not just an illusion that it's working. Okay, okay. now okay. I know well, it's working. Like, and then you try, you just leave it there until the site goes away. Yeah, it, it just goes away on its own, right? So it seems okay. to be working. I wish I'd done that trick. Okay. Yeah. And that way you never lose anything, right? Yeah. If you need to get it back, you got it. Okay. So, so you can you take recording. that. Yeah. Could you, hmm, that's interesting. So you can, you can, and worst case, you can take the old site, make the temp site, make it, you know, you can put it all back to where it was before. Okay. And, and be, and be, it'd all be good. How in fact, I wanted, how in, I fact in, in fact, I'll show you something really cool. Well, I already took it off, but you know, this, this old transition for life site. Yeah, if I had indeed. set my if I had set my IP address in that little um, um, command window there for the editor for the host file, it would actually find transition old transitionforlife.com because yeah. it's, you've told it where the website is and SiteGround knows where it is because it made it right. So that's really cool. Anyway, I got to go. Um, okay. It's been All an right. hour a while, so um, hopefully that that helps. Um, but that's what I'm doing is I'm just going through sites. Emails are more challenging because you know you got and uh, email, yeah. yeah. I do have one site can be screwy. I have one I've got to put w anyway. I'll work on okay. that. Okay. So hopefully that helps. So um let's see. You can change domain name. You can change let's say you want to completely move one over to a different domain. Same way. Yeah, of course. You just copy it over and use that domain. Yeah, yeah. Because you know, right. remember, we 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 use the temp domain as a as a domain. Right, right. That's the domain, the temp domain. And you convert your temp right. domain and, into your, whatever you want. It could be anything. Right, right. And so when I opened up that temp domain, it showed the site that was there before. Yeah, yeah. Okay, it's good. I got now. I have recorded this. It was about twenty five minutes it took to do that. We talked. Yeah, about and part it. and part of it was. A Let me stop. Thing. Well, stop the recording. Let me stop recording real fast. But I figured half an hour to, to an hour or so.